Hello everyone and welcome back. We're going to be climbing to the moon. I think this is the second to last chapter, if I'm not mistaken, in Impy's route. The queen had just asked their assistants to help them take down the Nautilus, which is going to terrorize her city if they don't do anything about it. They've already bombed one district and he's starting to bomb another district. Actually, it's all of London. <laughs> MB had confessed to Cardia in the last episode, so if you missed that, definitely go check that out. <laughs> so let's continue on in chapter 12, I think it was. <laughs> it's chapter 13. Actually, this is not the second to the last chapter. This is the last chapter. So um, after this, I think it's going to go into the happy end. And there is happy ends. There's not... There's not just a normal end that I thought. There's a happy, a normal, and two bad ends. So we're going to go into this one, which is the ending. The I want to do like I did in My Next Life as a Villainess, and I'm going to do the endings all in their own episode, so you can watch them all back to back. So actually, I'm really excited now that this is the last one. <laughs> and then we can do all the endings, because the endings are fun too. The soft and gentle chirping of birds awakens me from slumber. The rustling of a treetop branches adds to their beautiful melody. There's a big battle waiting for us today, but the day starts unbelievably peacefully. Unbelievably peacefully. <laughs> you didn't have to add a Y to peaceful. <laughs> okay. Huh. I slowly open my eyes and see an endless sky spreading above me. White clouds slowly drift through it, soaking in the morning sunlight. Where am I? I realize that a blanket has been placed over my shoulders as I hastily get up. Did you guys fall asleep outside? Oh. <laughs> oh, in his workshop. Okay. Did I fall asleep? I mean, you still fell asleep outside, I guess, but at least it was in broken down London. <laughs> as I grow more aware, my memory gradually comes back to me. Last night, we went to MP studio on the mansion's grounds. I was helping MP make a mysterious device. All I could really do to help is pour some tea for him or handle the minor chores. I was helping him until close to dawn when I started to doze off. MP, where are you? <laughs> That's going to be me whenever the SAO beta comes out for um next weekend. There was one on this last Saturday morning, but it was from like 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. my time, so I didn't want to stay up for it because it's on like uh, Europe time. So, but I'm definitely going to be catching the beta next weekend. It's going to be Friday and Saturday. And I think I can post for that. I want to see if anyone else posted last weekend's beta. And if they did, I want to post um, my beta experience. I read the agreement carefully and I'm pretty sure I can post it. There's not much time before our mission. I wonder if the device is finished. I become worried and call out for him and he appears from the far end of the room. I'm sorry, I fell asleep before we could finish. You <laughs> were watching me sleep? I look down in reaction to the face Impy makes. I shake my head and try to change the topic, but my face is probably very red. Um, what happened with the devices? <laughs> MP hands me a mug of coffee, then takes out a round device about the size of his hand. Whenever he's, whenever I was reading, he hands her a mug of coffee while looking at this. I'm like, that's quite the intricate, <laughs> glowing mug. <laughs> at first glance, it's hard to tell exactly what it is. I intentionally didn't ask while you were making it, but what is this thing supposed to do? Hmm? The Nautilus has a critical defect? Impy <laughs> says this with a mischievous air, then holds up the device and smiles at me. A few short hours later, 
The main players of the mission have gathered at the palace. Main players <laughs> have gathered at the palace at the request of MP, the gravity alleviators designer. A row of people here, aside from myself, including high-ranking people such as politicians and military leaders. Among them is Britain's Queen Victoria. I stand beside Lupin and the others watching MP as he stands in the center of the room. And that was super secret. I don't know the details, but he said it's a trump card that will completely turn the tide of battle. うーん。ちょっと不安。心配あるまい。ヘイ、リーズベルハウシングス。やつの人間性には大いに疑問があるが、技師としての発言なら信用しても間違いはない。エレカベルハウシングス、サプライズ。I <笑>褒める。私は正当な評価を下しているだけだ。It's <笑> Epi turns to us from the center of the room. Alright. <laughs> right. Lupin's right. All the military personnel and politicians gathered in this room are looking at MP rather severely. And understandably so. This is the morning before a desperate fight to somehow take a stab at the Nautilus. When some unknown random engineer comes in and touts a new plan, I'm sure many of them are not amused. あなたたちの会話は聞いていて飽きないけれど、そろそろ本題に入ってもよろしいかしら。インピーバービケン。何でも脳チラスに大打撃を与える秘策があるとか。Victoria puts MP on the spot, but he nods with confidence. 直前になっての作戦変更を。壊滅的な敗退につながることもあるわ。そのリスクを負うだけの価値があるサクなのかしら。もちろん。現状あれを止めるためなら、これ以上のサクはないはずだぜ。If he nods once, then puts on his usual smile. I'm a little impressed that he can carry himself in the same way he always does, even at a time like this. ここに揃ってる連中はもうあのノーチラスが。重力緩和装置を使って浮いていることは知ってるだろう。ところがだ。その装置ってのはまだ未完成の代物なんだ。莫大なエネルギーを用いて装置を稼働させているとしても安定性にはまだまだ問題がある。その安定性という部分につけ
Victoria narrows her eyes at Impy's words. The energy source he's talking about is none other than the Horologium. If someone in a position of power like Victoria were to find out about its existence, she would most likely try to use the Horologium as part of her own political agendas. <laughs> well, <laughs> she might know it exists. <laughs> I mean, you had Victor, a really esteemed um, scientist who... I guess scientist, yeah, alchemist, who she really wants back for some reason, who worked a lot on Isaac, who was developing the Horologium. How does she not know about it by now? He was a royal alchemist, <laughs> so it worked in her palace. <laughs> yeah, there's no way she doesn't know about it. Empy probably knows this, and that's the voice referring to it by name. Yeah. Yeah. Act like she doesn't know anything about him, she does. I mean, they're probably smart enough that Leave it up to Nemo to use that small window of time to do something horrible. In Peace's conclusion, he elicits a great sigh from Victoria. <laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs
That's all the more reason why this plan that might give them a shot at success is bringing life back to their expressions. あなたの提案するその作戦成功させるためには何をすればいいのかしら頼みたいことは二つ一つこの装置の磁場を増幅する特殊な砲弾を先行して農地出すに打ち込むこと二つ装置軌道にはどうしても農地出す内部に潜入
大砲クラブの会長だろうそしてナイトの称号だってもう持ってるこの子を守り導くナイトってね He's so cute. Huh? Busy in a high yard at the yard. I know, you just turned out a queen. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> Victoria smiles at me as I turn red and walks away. Once she is completely out of sight, Impy turns to me. Saki, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, It's no problem, but are you sure about this? Isn't the gravity alleviator like a memento of the old man? If everything goes according to MP's plan, the device will be thrown up into space along with the Nautilus. We'll never be able to get it back. But MP just smiles and shakes his head. But. じいさんが俺に残してくれたのはあの装置そのものじゃない技師としての技術や知識そして何より技師としての心それは作ったものが壊れてもずっと俺の中に生き続けるんだ If he places a hand on his chest when he says this beneath his uncalled a smile is strong determination それにあのじいさんだったらこのぐらい次は一人で作ってみせろとか言うだろうし<笑> I really believe that the feelings and thoughts of the old man who taught MP were alive in him are alive in him She calls him old man too, it's kind of funny <laughs> I've never met this person, not once and yet hearing MP talk about him, I can imagine him very vividly Then MP, you can't fail this mission, no matter what Right as I'm speaking to him, laughing Suddenly, the horrible look in my chest flares with a dull light. What? As the light goes off like a warning, my whole body becomes weak. Oh no! All at once, everything goes white. Cardia chan! I hear MP call out in surprise, and I slowly fall to the ground. Oh no! <laughs> This place is new, but I already know where it is. I forgot she even comes here. <laughs> When I open my eyes, everything is terribly blurry. My body is heavy like a rusted machine, and I can only move sluggish sluggishly. There's a continuous pounding in my head with the pain like something banging against my skull. I try to get up slowly and catch a glimpse of Victor at my side. Victor's there too. Victor? Ah, my eyes are closed. Yes, I feel dizzy and I don't know why. He knows why. <laughs> What is it, Victor? I tilt my head to one side, puzzled, but Victor falls silent, looking conflicted. Then. He just invite all of you to his house? Gumpy bursts into the room and I smile at him. Yes, I'm alright. Never mind me, what about you? Don't you have a war council to attend? Oh yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people would have a problem with that, myself included. <laughs> that would have been so embarrassing. Thank you, everyone who objected. <laughs> Gotta respect some boundaries. <laughs> I count my blessings. I'm perfectly fine. I'll take part in the mission as we planned. As long as I'm Nemo's target, I need to be the decoy and keep the Nautilus's attention. Wait, Cardia. You're not okay to say that. Victor suddenly speaks up. I look at his strained expression and open my mouth in confusion. What do you mean? The Hororogium was hurt by the fact that its shape has changed so much. That's the fact. ね、yes. That is what Victor said after our escape from the Nautilus. The whole Logium in me is undergoing a change. Kimi no Taicho Furioa. Hororogium no Kesson ga gain da. 
She is dying. I know. その欠損が原因でホロロギウムの作り出すエネルギーが変化したんだけどその変質したエネルギーに君の体は適応できない、so、what happens now? 君の持つ毒が君自身に作用するつまりこのまま放っておけば君は近いうちに死んでしまうだろうね But this is the reason why I can't touch empty right now. So no horologium no henshga, y o s y o i m o h a r k a n i h a y a Oh no. Boku no mitate dori nara. Ato skoste, horologium a tada no ishkoro ni nare. What? So ne, do you koto? What do you think it means? <laughs> It'll stop being her heart. k i m i g a t a o r e t a t o s h i r a b e t e w a k a t a n d a k e t o Ima, Hororogium ga u m i t a s e n e r g i a Don't on y o a k n a t e r Toze, Sono e n e r g i a Shinzo g a w a r i n i s r i k i m i n i t o t e a c h i m e t e k i n a j o t a i d a 普通の人間にも心臓の働きが弱くなる病気があるけどそれと同じだと思っていいこのままだと明日の朝まで持つかどうか、oh, no. 今はそれくらい危険な状態だよ Not even through the night The whole l o g i n will break and I will die I knew I was going to die at some point being an artificial creature But even I thought it would be a little further in the future. We would stop the Nautilus together, Impy and I, and then we would chase after the dream he has spoken of. I had foolishly thought that I was going to be allowed a future like this. I. I grow weak and sit back down. <laughs> Do you sit back down or do you fall down? <laughs> then. Hora, hora. そんな顔しちゃ、美人が台無しだよ。Oh, even when she's like in despair and he's like cheer up, <laughs> it'll be fine. Not even like, you know, yelling at Victor saying, What are you sure? There's gotta be another way. No, he's just calm and collected. He's like, Don't worry, we'll get through this. And B. And B gently strokes my hair and smiles. Finna! <laughs> You did say that was the only way. So, I'm going to go to the hospital. So, not only do you have to activate that device, you have to get the little piece of her chip back to and stick it back in. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the h o s And B takes my hand, smiling, and holds it firmly. Let's go. What? Hororogium no kakera o ubatte, so I gotta talk at it. Nante, matte, a r e n a I know, right? Good. Give it to her right then. Hororogium no mitskete, so nobody kimi ni modosunda. So stara kimi wa taskarashi. Minna sorotte, happy end. Desho? Yes, happy end. I did all the choices right. <laughs> What's this choice again? <laughs> That's what I was going to do. That was my intention anyway. I don't hesitate at all to answer. After I do my job as the decoy, I was going to get aboard the Nautilus. I can't let you put yourself in danger all by yourself. How are you going? How are you planning to get up in there without his help? <laughs> like, you'd have to tell him eventually. And? I d o n t know what to say. And B exhales a little to reaffirm his thoughts and looks at me. I'll protect you too. <laughs> so cute. And B extends his hand to me. I take his hand and grip it gently, and M B holds mine tightly. It's almost time for the decisive battle. Victor hasn't said anything. They didn't even say anything about where they're at. <laughs> 
Like, we haven't seen that image before, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure that's Sholmes or something, because I remember that scene from the, the fan disc. She was there a lot. A few hours later, Nemo looks out over London from the pilot house as the setting the sun colors it blood red. Nemo has been watching to the past three days. <laughs> Why is the word two in there? <laughs> Watching as London's residents leave the city in a panic like ants. Watching as the government hastily gathers its forces from all across the country. He has been observing the world from high above among the clouds. But he's like, giggle, giggle, giggle. <laughs> Nemo is endlessly entertained by the magnitude of his power's impact. I don't like how they refer in the third person when you're from their from their point of view. They they talk, they word it in third person. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Up until now, he had always been chased away, rejected. Nemo was not born in London. He was a member of the royal family of a nation that had been colonized by Britain. Ooh, really. I forgot about that. <laughs> Obviously it wasn't important enough to remember. <laughs> Having been stripped of his position as royalty, Nemo headed to Britain alone. Well, I guess that was all your, your own fault. It wasn't out of a need for revenge or in submission. He just wanted to learn about the science and technology Britain had. His mind was probably already broken. <laughs> when he had witnessed firsthand Britain's staggering military power and utter destruction. The power of science that had trampled over his own subjects and family was not a target of his spite. Uh, I guess if they def if they conquered your country, I guess you they would probably strip you of your title. That makes more sense. In the contrary, it became an object of his all in worship. He has studied in Britain, hiding his true identity, and was welcomed into the Royal Society for his immense talent in science. However, he was always in too much of a rush. Anything could be done in the pursuit of power. Due to his radical ideas, he was expelled from the Royal Society. In the past, the British troops trampled over their own nation in pursuit of their immediate goals. It should be permissible then for him to trample over others in the pursuit of advancement of science. However, none agreed with his thinking and he was driven out of his home a second time. Then, even his master, Isaac, left him and disappeared to parts unknown. Nemo had always felt powerless. Why wouldn't anyone understand the importance of his research? Why wouldn't anyone appreciate his greatness? His mind was always swirling with dark thoughts such as these. But things are different now. His mind is clear. Looking down from his throne in the sky, the people all look like ants. The British government poured a tremendous amount of money into the redevelopment of the city to create Steel London. Nemo can reduce this same city to a sea of cinders. Nemo feels no sense of powerlessness now. Nor does he feel any sense of self-denial. All these big words. <laughs> all there is is a bottomless intoxication born from a sense of everlasting, all-encompassing omnipotence. I just slow down and read it. <laughs> そうだよ。私こそが人類を導く者。アジアでは獅子は我が子を先人の谷へと突き落とすという。憎いわけではない。愛しいからこそ。百獣の王を継ぐ者だと分かっているからこそ。愛しい子供に
私の崇高な思考を邪魔するとは<笑>よほどの要件なんだろうねは,はいイギリス政府に動きが見られました我々が狙う少女と思わしき人物がバッキンガム宮殿の庭に現れましたどうやら政府は我らの要求を飲むようです<笑> Is mistyped. <laughs> so, 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 the Buckingham Palace Garden. This is not the location that he has specified, but that won't be a problem. As long as he can get the horror logum in his possession, nothing else matters. Hima opens one of the many voice tubes lining the walls of his pilot house. So, was it intended to say shop or did they, or did they mean, meant to type ship? I don't know. Emo raises his arm and basks in glory. No, Chiros. At Nemo's command, the aerial fortress wrapped in a shroud of clouds begins its gradual descent. Everything is going along with Nemo's plan. However, he does have one reservation tickling away at the back of his mind that this might be a rather boring end. Perhaps things would be more exciting if they tried to resist. If he could demonstrate more of the power that he had obtained. Oh, yeah, they're going to resist. Don't worry, worry about that. The sky darkens. Victoria is in the palace garden, quietly looking on as the airship fills the sky. Next to her is a handmaid dressed like Cardia, acting as a decoy. She wears a veil and similar clothing. Nemo shouldn't be able to tell unless he sees her up close. Victoria speaks gently to the handmaiden, who can't seem to stop shaking. <laughs> どうして私が逃げられましょうか<笑>嬉しいわあなたのような勇気ある進化を持ててももったいないお言葉ありがとうございます私は立派に役目を果たしてみせます The girl's cheeks are flushed as she glares upwards Victoria smiles and turns her, her own eyes skyward as well. The black shadow of the steel leviathan navigating the sky is getting bigger and bigger. Heiko,のうちらすが迫っています。おはようく避難を。私はここにいるわ。しかし、相手はこれまで誰も見たことのないソラの化け物。兵士たちは内心を恐れおののいている。That makes sense from a morale standpoint, but as a leadership standpoint, it's kind of dumb because <laughs> you're supposed to be protected. They don't want a new queen, <laughs> they need you to protect them. I guess. Lionheart responds to Victoria's smile with a rigid salute. She glares back up at the sky now filled with steel. It really is terrifying. The sheer appearance of it and its size, the horror of it hanging overhead. There is no better weapon than this to strip the soldiers of their confidence. If that ship demands that you either obey or fight, it would be difficult to choose the option to resist. Eventually, the Nautilus comes to a stop in the sky. At the same time, a strange noise echoes through the city. 
<笑>ごきげんよう<笑>ロンドン市民のジョー君 Wonder what that means, because usually a hello is konnichiwa, so now I'm, now I'm curious about the phrase gokigenyo so I can know like how they're supposed to, how are they actually addressing. It's a polite and respectful greeting for any professional business setting, such as when meeting with a client or a superior. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> He's coming in for a trade. <laughs> I guess that's a little more formal than Konnichiwa. Takeono Ishiwa Nayo Dane Sensei to Stejitsuni Yorokobasio. Eat the good. Sate Deva Korekara Kongata Sengo Sochirani Yokosu. Sono Funeni Kanojo no Serungai. あら、意外と慎重ね。ま、本人が出てきてくれるとは思っていなかったけれど。I <笑> Which means that this is as far as he can be destructive. Victoria raises her state of the art miniaturized ether communication device to her lips. The next instant, the sudden explosions go off on the surface of the Nautilus. This sets off a series of explosions all across the surface of the Nautilus. The long range battery set up. Along with the outer walls of London, are currently all aimed inward towards Buckingham Palace. All of their guns are firing on the Nautilus. The gun batteries that had been snuck onto Buckingham Palace in secret are brought out to and begin shooting. With no way to avoid attacks from directly below, the Nautilus is hit by countless shells and is soon covered with smoke. <laughs> The Nautilus is staggering. Power. The Nautilus is staggeringly powerful, and the quality of its weapons far outclasses anything the British troops can muster. That's the very reason why I cannot bomb the palace right now. With so much cannon fire going up, the bombs could potentially be hit and explode prematurely on the way down. No matter how strong the Nautilus may be, if it takes a hit from its own bombs from so close, it cannot possibly avoid damage. <laughs> Victoria smiles. The use of a double of Cardia and lower the Nautilus into range with the cannons. So far, this plan is going better than anyone could have hoped for, however. <laughs> This is what he preferred. <laughs> he was like, it'd be boring if, she, if they just handed her over. <laughs> the Nautilus ascends with a roar. From below, it almost looks like a mountain of steel rising into the air. However, this is something of a good sign for the forces defending Britain. If the Nautilus backs off, it must be proof that their attacks are effective. But of course, there is no way that the Nautilus would simply leave. The innumerable guns anchored to the bottom of its massive frame swivel to point towards the cannons along London's outer wall. The Nautilus, is sh the Nautilus shudders as its guns fire relentlessly, showering the city below with shells. The outer wall is demolished, smashing the gun batteries along its length as well. <laughs> But they're just getting started here as well. The Nautilus continues to send it as if to shake off the smoke caused by the explosions. The airships rise up from the number of locations throughout London and chase after it. The surviving members of the airborne knights gathered from all about Britain. Their ships are out there most vulnerable when lifting off, but as long as the smoke blocks their line of sight, there is little chance that the Nautilus will attack them. 
インピーバービケーンの特殊砲弾見事ノーチラスに命中しています Upon hearing this news, Victoria smiles behind the fan she uses to cover her mouth. Gokuro Sama, Yokyata, Hosho Negirata, I get it. Ha! o k o t a a s Everything is ready. The sky has been tainted by the fire and smoke of battles, signifying the beginning of another fierce fight in the sky. So, Kono Atashio Koraseta Koto, Kokai Nasai. Victoria looks up at the flying fortress with a wicked smile. Let's go. Let's begin. Impy and I are watching the intense mid air battle unfold from the vantage point of a street a little distance from London. With this music playing, it seems like they've fled. <laughs> and they're having a little. Lovey, intimate moment while the city burns behind them. <laughs> Explosions go off everywhere overhead, making our eardrums buzz. Fire and smoke blossom over and over, clouding the red sky of the sunset. For now, it appears that everything is going according to plan. But I can't help but wonder how many people are sacrificing their lives in those explosions above us. We need to stop the Nautilus as soon as we possibly can. I grip my teeth as I stare upward and Impy quietly clears his throat. Lendak at tail. Toxi hold on no which come. Say, go stop te. Ozen that you can pick it on you. We look behind us at a single airship that has been prepared for us. It looks like a normal airship, but it's a unique craft that Impy customized in the short time available to him. Lupin and the others are all working to prepare it for takeoff. Once they finish, the airship is going to carry not just our fates, but the fate of all Britain. I swallow my breath nervously when a small figure approaches me. Impy, you're not going to go to the airship. Aww, he's willing to help. Aww, he's willing to help. Ellie. You're not going to go to the airship. You're not going to go to the airship. あのデカブツに乗り込んで敵の主会と対面したところで殺してでも止めるという判断は下せまい。だからいざとなれば世が赴きお前たちに代わって。He's like I come kill for you。おっとそこまでだドラちゃん。<笑>勘違いしてもらっちゃ困るって。Impy waves his arms to cut Deli off. Ore tacha betsu ni sa. Nemo o koroshi ni iku wake janai. Nemo jishin ni urami ga aru wake demo nai. Tada, aitsu o tome ni iku dake da yo. Kagaku no chikara wa sonna fu ni tsukau mono janai te shoumei suru tame ni sa. Taisetsu na mono o ubaware. Sono ihin made akuyo sare temo. それでもそう言えるかお前は本当に世とは違うのだな。Ellie looks at MP squinting as if he is staring at the sun. 覚えているか以前、世はお前に吸血鬼一族の復讐を成し遂げようと持ちかけたな。忘れるわけないってめっちゃ本気でぶん殴られたしああの時は悪かったお前はお前の道を行くといい Ellie smiles looking a little lonely then turns away from us 死ぬなよお前やヘルシングにはまだ言いたいことが残っている He silently watches Deli walks away. Not long after, we hear someone call out from the direction of the airship. We stand side by side and slowly walk towards the airship. B. Hmm? He doesn't say anything, I have to say it for him. Let's promise to make it back together no matter what. 
And when we get back, I want us to create lots of precious memories together. So many wonderful memories that we'll never be able to leave one another. Aww. <laughs> I probably only said that because I'm feeling so nervous about what's about to happen. My horologium is about to lose its power. I might fall lifeless at any moment, like a puppet whose strings have been cut. That's why, while I still have time, before my lips stop moving, I want to make this promise with MP. I want to think about him for as long as I can before my feelings for him stop. When we get back, promise me that you'll never leave my side. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Stares at her intently. <laughs> MP looks straight into the, my eyes. Gomen. Yeah, what are you going to say instead? I see. I... you're right. There's no way you can make a promise like that when there's no guarantee that this will work. If he puts his arm around my shoulders as I stand there miserably. He brings his face close to mine, making sure that I look at him. だって。俺はもう今この瞬間から一瞬だって君と離れたくない。忘れられない思い出だって。もう君にたくさんもらってる。俺はもうとっくに君なしじゃ生きられないよ。me too. I can't find any meaning in life when you're not with me. I've heard before that the reason why the moon shines is because of the sun's light. And the reason why I can smile is because of MP. Oh, <laughs> That's what I truly believe. Oi, oi. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Everyone smiles at us as we hop on board the airship. <laughs> the duties we've been given are similar to what we did during the airship race. MP is at the helm and I'm his assistant in charge of the airship's altitude. Lupin is the lookout and Van Helsing is controlling the gas bag. Major Main and Victor are in the engine room. The propeller starts spinning. The airship slowly rises from the ground and lifts us into the air. It into the skies of London, lit by the fires of conflict and war. As we ascend, the Nautilus begins to look bigger and bigger. The flying fortress covered the sky already when we were some distance away, but when we got up close, it's no different from a gigantic wall. They really elaborate on how big this thing is, don't they? <laughs> The British airships fly around it, continuing their assault. Even they look like insects flying around a large flower. Empy, the other airships are distracting the- Suddenly, Empy turns the wheel all the way to one side. I hear a crash and the airship jolts violently. Ah! Oh, no. It's a good thing you notice since your lookout's not noticing. <laughs> If you guys one of the speaking tubes and shouts into it. ガスの異常なし。航行可能。機関室も問題ありませんね。よし、まずは回避成功。見たか俺の飛行テク。自画自賛してる場合じゃねえよ。デカ物の大砲がこっちを狙ってる。I rapid decision. I pull the lever as hard as I can, and the ship immediately begins rising faster. The airship plunges upwards into a huge cloud, blocking any view of the cannons. All we see around us is whiteness. <laughs> whiteness. <laughs> we can't see anything. <laughs> The one on the right, got it. I can see some light up ahead, and a break in the clouds gradually appears. I use all my might and start turning the handle MP pointed out to me. 
Suddenly, the handle locks into place. That moment. I hear a loud noise from the back of the ship, and we suddenly pick up speed as if a giant hand was pushing us. Mbi, what was that? Where's your seatbelt? <laughs> Even as Lupin is berating and be. The clouds part completely ahead of us, giving us a view of our surroundings. And B, several cannons are firing on us. Still half hidden in a wall of clouds, the ship flies through the sky. Thanks to the intense jet of stream, we're able to avoid most of the incoming fire. But the last one hits our gondola near the end. Was that near the engine room? St. Germain, Victor, are you alright? Uh oh. No! Oi! The lack of response makes us imagine the worst. But in a moment, we hear a cool collective voice from the other end of the tube. Whew. <laughs> Titchbane's like, we're all good. Just a little knock on the head. <laughs> I'm so glad. Impy, We really closed in on the Nautilus and it hovers before us, blocking out everything else in sight. This means that we're clearly visible to them as well. I get chills, feeling that at any second those guns will turn and point directly at me. We haven't been completely captured yet, but... ですが、ロンドンの防衛機構はズタズタ。空挺機士団も相当不利な状況です。このチャンスを逃せば、次がないのでは？ The voices of the other members of the crew reach and be at the helm through the voice tubes. He seems to think for a second. He glances at me, then looks directly at the Nautilus and speaks with a determination. No, just say, Muka. You cannot get damn it. Demo, Impy. He has to get inside. The whole thing will fail if he doesn't get inside. Mina, what's the name? Koitsa, no, just so to me. Say, go to chance there to do any. Can't you ask? Say, go to chance, Nanda. Uh, I hear everyone gasp over the voice tubes. So the show, Cardia chan. Let's keep going. Actually, there's a save here that I need to do because if you don't, if you hit the other one, you can go to a bad ending. So we're going to save, and then we're going to keep going. And she'll just die in the bad end, I'm sure, because she said, oh, "Let's stop." I open my mouth to speak, but that's as far as I get. The horologium shard I need to stay alive is on board the Nautilus. Like Impy says, if we back down now, I will definitely die. But is it really alright to get everyone else involved in this risk that could cost the others their lives? They could all die because of me. <laughs> I blurt out the question in surprise, feeling like he's read my mind. The next thing I hear is a long sigh carried clearly even through the voice tube. <laughs><笑><笑> This is the person who, when they're rude, is going to be like, 
I've got to do everything on my own thing, which is the most annoying part of his whole route. Anyway, we'll read that next. Cardia, sir. Yoke, can I tell me the cross? I Kono Saksen, a Tashkani. Anata no inochi, a school mock the Kimo Arimasuna. Mohaya, son of Tame, Dakeno, Mono de Wana. You're going to save the rest of London, including everyone on the ship. Oh. 極論を言ってしまえばあなたの身については要素の一つに過ぎないそういうことだここであれを落とさなければ全てのものの未来を積むことになるここであれを落とさなければ全てのものの未来を積むことになる。That's right. I've been so focused on myself, but Queen Victoria and all the British soldiers taking part in the battle. So many people are risking their lives to give us a chance at stopping the Nautilus. If we were to turn back now, it would mean that all of their sacrifices would be in vain. I'm sorry, everyone. Let's keep going. The others respond with varying cheers and acknowledgments through the voice tubes. Wasn't that convenient? Better hurry up. ガスの問題ない。いくらでも飛べるぞ。生き残ったエンジンも順調です。暴走覚悟ならもう片方もなんとかいけるよ。Zimpy listens to the reports from the others. He winks at me. さあ、改めて出発だ。全員。俺に命を預けてくれよ。ああ。お前に命を預けることになろうとは。な、なんだよ。なんか不満でも。ああ。これほどの不安を覚えたのは久しぶりだ。This big in a while, huh? What about the time when he shot you out of a cannon across the sky to go land on their ship? You were pretty, pretty against it then as well. Asahi wa ogame nai kamo. Moshi mo no toki wa tengoku ni ikeru yo ni watashi ga daihyo shite inotte okimashou. Just in case. <laughs> Nobody trusts you if you. <laughs> I can't help but giggle at the reactions of the others. I can't see their faces through the tubes, but they're probably all speaking with big smiles. Well, at least Saint Germain was. <laughs> Everyone is counting on Empy as a reliable member of the team. Empy himself has an unclouded grit, a reflection of how we all feel at the moment. Empy, our fates are in your hands. Let's make this work, no matter what. The better I perform. <laughs> Empy points the airship towards the space between the clouds. And at the right moment, pulls the lever beside the steering wheel. The airship releases steam and flies towards the Nautilus as straight as an arrow. Does he ram into it? Taking a hogi kaisi! Kaisi! Yeah! Kono mama iku! And he keeps the airship going full steam ahead, not wasting even a single moment to dodge the incoming shots. The cannon fire is drawn towards the airship as if by magnets. A huge jolt shakes the airship. The Nautilus is only a stone's throw away now. Lupin tisks as he brushes into the cabin and takes the wheel in Ippy stead. He sees the smoke rising from all around the room and clutches his head in his hands. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's like, we're gonna board the ship. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> Figure something out. If what Nemo said in his announcement is true, there should be a smaller aircraft inside. We'll take one of those. Impy and I answer at the same time. Lupin looks at us in surprise and grins. 
名コンビじゃねえか分かったすぐにノーチラス上空だ準備しとけ B guides me out to the deck. The wind furiously blows through my hair, and the sound of a cannon fire battery in the ship assaults my ears. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time reading. It's like I can only process a word at a time. <laughs> so I'm like pausing when there shouldn't be a pause. I'm sorry. MP, what now? You h o e to come to the end of the day. I'm not going to be a <laughs> with this, he picks me up with ease. Then he smiles mischievously and stands at the edge of the railing. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Hang on. You're not going to jump, are you? So, no, Masaka, sir. No, she does no blood, see, guys, so no, we can't. Jiki has said so, she's a yakuni tatanai. Hope your aim is good. Can't in the coco, Nero Tamania. どうしたって内部に潜入する必要がある。エビネオスアイズンポイントとアスパーオンナーレスのデック。I followed his finger and see some windows。あそこに窓が見えるでしょ。間違いなく強化ガラスだろうけど、うまい具合に砲撃でひびが入ってる。だから、落下の勢いのまま、あれをぶち破って侵入する。You're going to land on the windows so hard that you're going to break them. Like, you guys would. <laughs> you guys would be breaking some bones, probably. Explosions go off nearby and the ship rattles once more. One step forward and we'll fall right into a serene sea of sky and clouds. Obviously, we don't have any sort of lifeline. If anything goes wrong, we'll plummet to the ground far below. <laughs> Are you serious? I don't know what you're doing. You're not a And B smiles kindly, then gently presses my face against his chest. Kuakatara, Mel Tsubte, Ore no Tayon Dakio Kanjite. That would distract me. So when you came your school, she dang Arna. Ore no Sora da Tetobu. Dokoni da Te, no Rikondia. He says it so, like, stoically, but. It just doesn't suit him at all. <laughs> Ippy has to be worried about this too. But he's still doing it for the sake of the mission and for me. He's trying to make this happen no matter how dangerous it is. Ippy, like I said earlier, I trust you. He nods in response and then glares at the Nautilus, trying to gauge when it gets close enough. Ikyo! Kardia chan! San! Ni! Ich! It all happens so quickly. i b b kicks off the deck. He does it without any hesitation, still embracing me. We fly through the sunset. Our clothing flaps in the fierce wind. I cling to him tightly, feeling the warmth of his body around me. Then, in the next moment. <laughs> jump! i b b kicks in the glass, and I feel an instant of impact. There is a moment of vibration and the sound of glass shattering around us. I see, and I see pieces of glass sparkling all around us, scattering the light of the sunset like diamonds. I start to call out his name, but stop myself. Even though we could have died with one wrong move, MP is smiling joyfully like a little boy. <laughs> the smile gives me courage and tells me that there is nothing to worry about. There is the sound of things smashing around us, and then I feel the impact of our landing. Our momentum has slowed somewhat by our breaking through the glass, but the landing is still a bone numbing jolt that lances through me. I know how it hurt. <laughs> If I felt that much with MP protecting me, I can only imagine how much harder it must have been for MP. Eh, it's okay, he's a vampire. <laughs> still holding me, MP scrunches his face and stands there motionlessly. <laughs> Are you alright, MP? <laughs> Pussy <laughs> says that with pain. You look like you're in pain. This is going to be a two hour one, isn't it? 
Envy is very obviously hurting as he looks around us. For now, there doesn't seem to be any enemies approaching us. But if things are the same as when they were last captured here, there will be Twilight Soldiers aboard the Nautilus. That was a pretty flashy entrance, so it's probably only a matter of time before the enemies start to arrive. Let's hurry, MP. I'm still a little bit dizzy, but I have him put me down. A wave of severe dizziness and nausea washes over me. I see sparks and feel a sudden crashing headache as if I'm not getting enough oxygen. This is probably not because of the impact from our landing. Protecting the horologian with one hand, I turn back to Impy. First, we need to use that device. Huh? Yeah, because you need to get them... You need to make this top fire on everyone. <laughs> Impy raises the device above his head, then dramatically presses a button on it. <laughs> I heard a click and then I saw nothing. I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> is it a dead? <laughs> I don't think anything's happening. Uh, are... <laughs> is it a dead? <laughs> go, 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 no matter how hard we listen, we don't hear any noises like that. Hopefully not. <laughs> As Ibi fumbles with the device, a loud piercing sound suddenly goes off. That must be some kind of emergency signal for the crew. It probably couldn't have been avoided with an entrance that loud. This is he says that a large number of Twilight soldiers emerge from around the corner. Well, there you go. There are ten of them in this first group. More are coming in from behind. B. And B and I nod to each other then. We turn our backs to the soldiers and begin running at top speed. What are we going to do, MP? <laughs> So what do we do now? Just as MP grins, a troop of Twilight soldiers appeared directly ahead of us. MP avoids the sword thrust and jumps. With, a, with an elegant double spin kick, he knocks two of the soldiers aside. It all happens in a matter of seconds. He moves, his moves are incredibly fast. Wow. And he turns back to me with a serious expression. Do you have anything that can help us with our trip there? So, <laughs> Impley bows to me mockingly in apology, then looks serious once more. I give him a nod and continue running. I just hope I can keep going a little while longer. I hope against all odds. I don't know how much time we spend after that. We hurry towards the center of the ship while running from Twilight Soldiers. I wish this wouldn't have been two hours so I could have edited it. It's already bordering midnight. <laughs> it's going to take another two hours minimum just to edit it. Our previous experience on the Nautilus may be helping us get there as we don't run into too many of them. But what could Twilight's objective be with cooperating with Nemo? Venice is already dead so who could be doing this and for what? No, I guess it's no use thinking about it now. I shake my head at the thought, but just that small action causes me to get dizzy and I stagger. Uh, my condition is worsening at an alarming rate. It feels like the heat is gradually leaving my body. I can tell myself that my blood is not flowing evenly throughout my body. What do you mean your blood? <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't have a heart, so 
you wouldn't have blood in your system either, right? Because the heart is what pumps it around your body. But whatever, who cares about science, right? I hear a distant explosion and the ground shakes so subtly. There must still be an intense battle going on outside. And just as MP said, we're approaching the center of the fortress. I feel an overwhelmingly sense of pressure when I enter the room. It's a large dome-like space. In the center of the room sits a huge cylindrical device stretching out from the floor to the ceiling. A complicated maze of machines is attached to the device making it look like a giant spider in its web. I know, right? <laughs> There's a light floating in the center of the machine. Could it be... the Horologium? Horologium no kakera ga... I really like this music. I've been downloading some organ music <laughs> for my Strahd campaign, so whenever they go to fight the vampire in the castle, I got lots of organ music to play. It's going to be epic. <laughs> Oh, and also, I mean, not that it matters saying it on one of my videos, but I'm not going to be doing the, my Final Fantasy stream tonight because it's almost midnight and I wasted too much time with my current obsession, which was building Strahd's castle in The Sims 4. <laughs> I've literally been working on it all day. <laughs> my first time to ever try to build something in The Sims, then I go for a castle. <laughs> So if we turn this device off, we can get the piece back. So <laughs> Suddenly an all too familiar voice echoes around us, followed by a thunderous slow clap thunderous. That was pretty weak and pathetic. <laughs> We turn around and I despair at the sight below us. <laughs> there stands Nemo with a crowd of Twilight troops standing behind him. <laughs> I'm busy, deep mind. <laughs><笑>そうもいかないね。君たちにこの芸術品を私の力をミスミス破壊させるわけにはいかないのだよ。MP glares at Nemo as he inches closer to the device. <laughs> However, Nemo sees him and chuckles. <laughs> Did he predict that? I forgot he predicted that. この <laughs> And B furls his brow. Nemo is definitely not your average scientist. He knew exactly what we were up to. That's the reason why the device MP brought didn't have any effect. 
投稿するなら今のうちさあどうするね Our device has been rendered useless, and Nemo is standing before us with a group of Twilight soldiers. I feel fear beginning to creep into my mind. But. For some reason, MP wears a confident smile. P, are you going to fight him? Hmm? Hmm. So, eh? I'm not going to fight him. I'm not going to fight him. That's cute. Say, Kai, the each man. Use those vampire powers. Ah, you can't make it work. You can't, Jan. Happy. I forgot. There's a fourth, a third one. Step forward. Oh, there's four of them. Step forward and then stay with them. Uh, step forward. I step forward and take a fighting stance in front of MP. No. I'll buy some time. You focus on disabling the gravity alleviator. Hey! Cardia chan! Cardia! Even as we stand here, the airborne knights are outside fighting with all their might. The longer that device keeps working, the more casualties there will be. Yeah. If <laughs> his eyes are open wide and I smile at him lightly, I told you before, I'm going to protect you too. I don't think they want to harm the horror game either. I think I'll at least be able to distract them, so. <laughs> I know, you're just like discussing your plan while he's listening. <laughs> like it's like you're going to get away with it. Nemo cuts me off his voice booming. おろろ義務を傷つけずにお前を無力化することくれいわけはないのだよそれにお前がいかに気を吐こうとも所詮は多勢に無勢時間稼ぎにもなりはしない愚かとしか言いようがないね I already know all this, but I still have one of Lupin's smoke bombs and one of Victor's flash bombs. I can distract them at least a little. I continue to glare at Nima when Impy pats me on the shoulder. Cardia-chan, I was saying the same thing to you before. Look, when I was in the ship, Impy, this is hardly the time. You are the one who is in the ship, and you are the one who is in the ship. Ebi steps out in front of me, smiling from ear to ear. Ore, kimi no so yu toko ni hore teru n da. Da kara hore ta onna no mae de kakko tsuke sase. All men like to show off a little bit in front of their girl. Ebi silently glares at Nemo. <laughs> Nima signals with his hand and all the Twilight soldiers draw out their swords. Perhaps out of fear of harming the gravity alleviator, not a single one of them holds a gun. The soldiers' swords gleam, reflecting the light inside the ship. Yeah. しかし実に不思議だねインピーバービケンえ何が不思議だって君の過去は調べさせてもらったよ君の境遇は私に似ている。理不尽に奪われ、認められることもなく、誰に理解されることもなく。ただひたすらに疎まれてきた。その通りだろう。なぜ
たね私と同じ過去を持ちながら私に匹敵する頭脳を持ちながらなぜ私の言葉が理解できない We understand everything that you say, but you're talking crazy. Well, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you. Impy closes his eyes and falls silent, but neither Impy nor Nemo are the one to break the silence. But he is different. It's me. Impy is different from you, Nemo. I shake my head and pull at the hem of his shirt. MP pats me on the head, comforting me. Ah, so da yo, Nemo. Orewa, omae to a kete de kini chingao. I have a girl and you don't. Orewa eats that te, shitori ja nakata. Eh, close enough. Mukashua, tonari ni jisan ga ite kreta. Ima oreo kokoma de tre tekte kreta. Tayori naru nakama tachito. There it is. <laughs> he grips my hand tight, then turns to face Nemo. His eyes carry a hit of pity as he stares at Nemo. I was waiting for it. I can hear tiny giggles in my headphones. So, what is it? 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 リカイシャなどが現れる時点で、所詮はお前も凡人の器というこ。ああ、そうかい。だったらお前はその凡人に負けるってことだ。ああ、そうかい。だったらお前はその凡人に負けるってことだ。ああ、そうかい。だったらお
As he spins, he raises a huge wrench, catching a sword being swung his way and breaking it in two. Then, back by his unexpected counterattack, the soldiers fall back to defense defensive positions. <laughs> I know, he just like took out four of you. <laughs> He's strong. It's not just his superior physical capabilities inherent to vampires. He demonstrates a mastery of combat that even Van Helsing would have applauded had he been here. Are you sure? <laughs> He takes some minor wounds but manages to defeat the majority of the soldiers. Why do you just do this in the first place? I've been telling you to just beat them up. Because <laughs> I know you can. He's like, no, must have finale finish. <laughs> and B backs off once again and comes back to me. <laughs> now you're fine. <laughs> they're a lot more they're a lot worse off than you. <laughs> MP, are you alright? Hey, <laughs> Just hang on. It's not until he says that that I realize how badly my condition has deteriorated and I'm left speechless. My fingertips are ice cold and I feel almost completely numb. There's probably not much time left before I turn into a lifeless doll. Emo cradles his head looking stunned. よりくな地場を持ち運びできる程度の装置で発生させることなど不可能。それともその装置さえも既存の科学レベルを上回る代物だというのかね。いや、こいつはあくまでスイッチだからね。本体は脳内出すの各所にばらまいてるよ。Oh, so is that what? So the thing that you have is just like a fancy button. So the thing Nima opens his eyes wide and falls to his knees as if hit by lightning. Hit by lightning. I don't know what lightning does to someone when they <laughs> strikes them. <laughs> but. back to his feet and screams to the remaining soldiers his eyes are bloodshot how do you know how do you know if his eyes are bloodshot he's got like goggles over them <laughs> this game man this game has had so many errors in it and so many typos and it's just it's just really funny i don't know <laughs> They didn't think that one through. <laughs> there you guys go. Huh. Henna Chocodama. Alright. MP dashes towards the soldiers faster than any bullet. He strikes one down, then another with a pair of the spinning kicks. 
At this point, Nemo shouts foaming from his mouth. <laughs> I mean, that's not gonna really prove anything besides make MP mad, but I guess if that's what you want. <laughs> The soldier's gun suddenly turned towards me. I tried to jump to the side, but my limbs are as stiff as lead by now. Yeah. I can't avoid them. Ooh. I hear the sound of gunfire. But the bullets that are meant for me hit Impy instead, who is now standing in front of me, shielding me. Oh. <coughs> Ow. Impy. A river of blood escapes from his body and creates a puddle on the floor. A river. Dang. He tries to reach back and embrace me. But Nemo approaches and grabs me by my shoulder. Let go! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Get off. I use what strength I have left to free myself from Nemo and glare at him. How did you have enough strength to get free? Like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to do what you say. I would much rather break the horologium right here. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Let's go. He's not bluffing. It's clear from his face that this man is serious. Nima curses and rails at the world. Here's a frustration stream down his cheeks. Nemo. Impy, how? ルパン用に作った。of course it was, because you can't have anyone actually get hurt in this game. <laughs> except for, uh, except, except for Finnis, I guess. <laughs> if he turns around and slowly starts walking towards Nemo. なにがあっとうてきなちからだよ。結局誰かに認めてもらいたかっただけじゃねえか。そんなことのためにこんな危ないおもちゃ乗りましてんじゃねえよ。来るな。よく覚えとけ。<笑> 科学は戦いの道具なんかじゃない。空を飛ぶため、月に行くため、まだ見ない未来にたどり着くため、不可能を可能にするための人の夢だ。認められたいって騒ぐ。ガキのおもちゃじゃないんだよ。Thoroughly intimidated by MB, Nemo uses me as a shield and takes a few steps back. I no longer have the strength to move my body, and he drags me along like a puppet. Yeah. Kurna! 
おい汚い手でその子に触れんなその子に触れていいのは俺だけだあ,あ私は爆弾を隠し持っている爆発させてもいいのか You're just now bringing that up. I think you're lying. <laughs> Ippy splashes through the puddle. A thick, bloody maiden starts running. He is mad. <laughs> Don't you dare touch her. <laughs> He takes down a few remaining Twilight soldiers in his way. <laughs> He tries to scamper away, using all his strength to throw the bomb he's holding at Ippy. Ippy! <laughs> do da, do da. Do na go go set o kataro to. Kore de mo nani mo iemai. It just looks like a smoke bomb. How could you? <laughs> He's fine. Za kita mai. No, Chirasu dash to Stakatskinua. Oh, my horror of Gimu, Egri da Sanebanara. Aaron cut Nima off, then he leaps off the floor from the other side of the flames from the explosion. Tane Tede! The man I love dashes through the flames and the smoke. So no Kuni Savana! <laughs> Don't touch her. <laughs> Ippy strikes Nemo with a powerful kick. Nemo is thrown back and slams into the wall, taking down all the machinery with his path in his path with him. Ippy, you need to watch out. Even with a vampire strength, it must be difficult for him to remain standing right now. <laughs> If he picks me up and runs towards the device, as I'm unable to move on my own at all right now. Every time he touches the complicated control panel, the machinery at the core of the Nautilus creaks as if in a mortal as if in mortal agony. He frowns at the sounds and closes his eyes. <laughs> He climbs up the machine, using the cables around him as footing, and when he thrusts his fist forward, he smashes into the device in an effort to take back the spark of my life. Mitsuketa! There seems to be some sort of force at work that pushes against everything. Ebi doesn't back down and continues to push his hand forward, but the light burns and blisters his skin. His injuries gradually get worse and worse. Ebi, that piece is still active, the poison in it is still working. I was about to say, he doesn't care, but then a voice part came forward, and so I wasn't going to say anything over it. He does not care. <laughs> this is a much better CG than the last one. I'm going to be using this one. So determined. Pushing against the repulsive force, Epi forces his hand closer and closer to the shard. Ten centimeters, five centimeters, one centimeter. Grasp. <laughs> ah! Epi grabs the horologian fragment. His hand burns, and the unpleasant, greasy smoke rises from his skin. Oh, it's so cute. He's so cute in this one. This blocks my girlfriend. <laughs> Ippy kicks at the machine's exterior, pushing himself away from the device. Ippy? I feel my body has already reached its limits, but I try to drag myself towards Impy where he lies on the ground. I desperately cling to him as he lies there unmoving. Oh no. <laughs> what? In the next moment, unbelievable, he turns his head and smiles at me. 
カルディアちゃんこれ俺からのプレゼントあ、he says I have a present for you <laughs> so cute the whole looking in my chest and the shard in Pete's hand emit the same subtle glow and he stretches his hand towards me as if presenting me with a flower oh <laughs> I accept his gift and clearly guide his hand to my chest and make him put it back that's funny <laughs> The h o l o g i u m fragments floats in the air, breaking up into tiny particles of light and slowly merging with the h o r o l o g i u m The beauty of the scene makes me forget everything else that is going on. Slowly, ever so slowly, I can feel the strength returning to me. I can keep living? Of course. And I can keep living by your side? He's so cute. <laughs> Ippy smiles slowly, then lies down as if he had lost his strength. <laughs> all the adrenaline has gone. <laughs> Ippy, are you alright? Just a little bit. I'm a little bit tired. As he closes his eyes, I squeeze him tightly in an embrace. Don't do it too tight, Ippy. You're gonna, you're gonna have your poison back in a minute. <laughs> Uh, now we're from Nemo's point of view. He's going to talk in third person. <laughs> he sees Impy embracing Cardia out of the corner of his eye. Nemo breathes heavily as he quietly raises himself from the floor. As Nemo walks forward, he feels bone scraping against the bone from where MP kicked him earlier. Ow. That doesn't feel good. A feeling that surfaces from his fading consciousness, a helpless sense of powerlessness. When he was younger, he had been captured by enemy forces. He felt this powerless as he stood by, unable to do anything in his home. He felt this powerless as he stood by, unable to do anything as his homeland was destroyed. Even though he continued to charge ahead with his research and search for the power of science, that powerlessness never went away. <laughs> MP and Cardia look up in surprise at his shout. Thinking back, This was probably about to happen with Nemo's fierce intelligence. That's how he was able to create so much, even without telling those in Twilight. If the Nautilus is going to be shot down, he can at least take everything else down with it in a huge blaze of destruction. That's what he wants. Nemo, what are you going to do? Nima pulls a lever towards him. Suddenly, the entire Nautilus begins shaking. <laughs> But like a self destruct lever. Several explosions go off within the room. Did you just set the Nautilus to self destruct? Yep. How could you? The fortress lurches to the side. Nima loses his balance and falls to the floor. Oh, my goodness. Take that side. 
アイザック先生I turned my volume down just in case he was going to yell that. <laughs> Definitely not going to be using this CG. <laughs> Here's Stream Down Nemo's face. Up until now, Nemo has poured his life into a variety of experiments. He mobilized the Nautilus and threatened all of Britain. However, there is still a cold feeling that remains unsatisfied within him. He has never ever felt fulfilled. <laughs> But here, finally, Nemo has realized what he is after. <laughs> Turn that down a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Another explosion bigger than any of the others goes off overhead. He looks upwards to see a huge piece of debris falling directly towards him. To him, it looks like a sign is sent to him from the heavens. He smiles to himself. Splat. <laughs> that is the last word that crosses his mind. I just wanted someone to. to notice me. To love me. Nemo! Let's go. MP stands up slowly, his body still weak. さっきネモが言ってただろう。この船は The Victoria Lionheart and everyone else who stayed behind are all in danger. MB, what should we do? We, what can we do? MB looks at me, then grabs me by the shoulder and speaks with determination. Cardia-chan, I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you Yeah, but that's not going to help the palace. I'm going to go to this place and find it. What about you? What are you going to do? I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. Let's try it. Hey, hey. Don't do that. It's a beautiful face. And he passed me on the head as I look at him with doubtful eyes. It's okay. I'm not going to die. I'm going to need to go to the hospital. He thumbs a fist against his chest. His face is the same as ever, grinning mischievously. And he pushes me towards the door and I... Stay with him. You can't leave me behind, I stay with you. <laughs> I turn around and gently take his hands in mine. I shake my head as Impy looks at me, confused. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here with you. <laughs> that face. Hmm. It's hard for me to get away from you. It's hard for me to get away from you, but... Don't joke around, Impy. Even though he's trying to make light of it, I know what he's up to. That's not it. There's no way that I wouldn't be able to know what the person I love is thinking. It's impossible to turn the Nautilus away from London and still make it off the ship. That's why you're trying to get me to escape on my own. Am I wrong? It's only for a moment, but the silence that falls between us seems to last an eternity. Impy's face twists in pain and he looks away from me. <sighs> I just wanted to be a hero. Didn't you say to her that, you know, when she was talking about dying and stuff, it would be better off? That when she's sad, you're 10,000 times sadder, but then you would go around and do it to her. How dare you? ああ、そうだよ。ノーチラスが落ちるのは、もう先用がない。少しでも被害を減らすには、船の制御を手動に切り替えて、落ちる場所を変えるしかない。でも、手動ってことは、
As if he turns his face downwards, I place both of my hands gently on his cheeks. <laughs> hey, he actually voiced it that time. <laughs> I push his head up, forcing him to face me. B, do you remember? Remember what you said to me before we took off, that you'd never leave my side? Oh. <laughs> I know, right? I remember that very clearly. That's why I'm not leaving. I'm either going to survive with you or die with you. Those are my only options. I stare at Impy. I sense that a small light flickers in the depths of his eyes. Impy, which will you choose? Am I even getting through to him? <laughs> Impy shakes his head, then balls his hands into fists. Honestly, <laughs> どっちを選ぶか。そんなの決まってるじゃん。大好きな君と一緒に生き残る道を選ぶしかないでしょう。I bring my hands to my chest and smile. Within my chest is the life that MP has worked so hard to take back for me. そうと決まったら一つだけ試したいことがある。さっきこの船が落ちるのは避けられないって言ったけど。補助動力とブレーキを暴走させれば自由落下を不時着にすることぐらいできるかもしれないあるよ。The there any area large enough to land the Nautilus? The river? Evie looks at me and grins. テムズ川っていう最後の切り札がね。So <laughs> I was getting the airship landings mixed up. I thought they landed their airship in the river, but no, they land the Nautilus in the river. <laughs> I move to the control panel along with MP. Through the window, the ground is getting ever closer. While the Nautilus manages to keep itself level, its its descent is considerably picked up speed. MP, what should I do? MP reaches the control panel, then gives it a once over to get an idea of how it works. His eyes dart from side to side and his hands move even faster. His fingertips fly across the control with maneuvers as smooth and graceful as a virtuoso playing a piano. Then I hear a click like two gears interlocking with each other. Yes. Control get Will we make it? Sa,ね。けど、そうも言ってられないよ。だから。必ず何とかしてみせる。B gives the steering wheel a good spin, and I continue to assist with the controls by his side. The ship lurches again, and I see the Thames River through the window. B, I see the river. よし、このまま突っ込む。あとはこの船の頑丈さが頼り。Even as we speak, the Thames draws near. カルディアちゃん、俺に捕まって。MP wraps MP's arms wrap around me. I feel the warmth of someone precious to me all around. <laughs> this is something I never could have imagined would be mine after being called a monster and living in solitude. But I have it right here and now. A moment later there is a roar and the impact shakes the ship violently. The floor bucks wildly, throwing us into the air. Ooh. Then I look out the window and my face grows tight. Right in front of us, and growing closer, is the huge tower, huge tower bridge. MP, straight ahead. You're gonna crash into the bridge? You both grab hold of the emergency brake lever. You've already pulled it as far as it will go, but we pull it even harder until it reaches its limits and is about to break. Stop! Tomare! 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 As we shout, the tower bridge continues to get closer and closer. And then.
There is complete silence, as if time itself has come to a stop. Everything's just, everything seems to be perfectly intact. <laughs> we lie completely still frozen in our embrace. But eventually we turn our necks like rusted gears and look into one another's face. Did we stop? <laughs> I know, he's all worried about crash landing. <laughs> Never. It's the same thing with the um with the ship crashing into like the city, the other ship. Were they gonna land in the river? Why is it flooding? <laughs> After a while, we step onto the deck of the Nautilus. The sun is just beginning to rise outside. The wind blowing across the deck is a bit chilly, but the light signifying the start of a new day is very comforting. Like nothing exploded or anything. <sighs> if you crashed a car into something, like if you dropped a car out of the sky, it'd probably blow up. <laughs> Uh, MP, you sound like an old man. Although, um, uh, Lupin's escape was actually a little bit nerve wracking. <laughs> I was wondering how they were going to make it. So, <laughs> I can say it's a little bit more um, climatic than this. So, <laughs> yeah. Mb looks at me and smiles happily. What do you mean you stopped it without crashing it? You didn't crash into the river? I don't understand. So, so they just landed it? Maybe they just landed it. Maybe that's why it's still intact. <laughs> Shake my head. If there's one thing to regret, it's that the gravity alleviator that you and the old man built was broken. And in your head. Yes, let's do that. I'll do my best to help. MB looks at me kindly as I nod to him. For some reason, I begin to feel nervous and look away. Didn't you say this once? He's just now, like, reflecting on it, which is kind of funny and cute. What do you mean? Mmm. うまく言えないんだけど今この胸にある気持ちが恋だって初めて分かった気がするんだよ Oh, well, it's my first time being in love too, so as first timers, we should get along pretty well together. そうだね。初めてどうしか。そりゃいいや。Ruby takes a good look at me. Then he draws me close. Whoa, Impy, you shouldn't. Oh, he just wants to kiss you again. <laughs> the horror log game is already getting its strength back. My poison will probably start coming back soon, too. それなら、なおさらだよ。毒が完全に戻っちゃう前に。ね。Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> There's so many CGs, what do I do? <laughs> his embrace is warm and soft. I can feel his quiet yet overwhelmingly love for me as he kisses me on the eyelids. <laughs> that tickles. That's so cute. <laughs> the man that I love is smiling right before my eyes. This fact is the greatest source of the happiness I could have. Me too. I'm glad you came into my life. I'm glad I fell in love with you. I love you, Impy. Yeah, yeah. I know. 
Why does this have to be a competition? Because <laughs> he's a man, that's why. <laughs> we giggle and another quiet kiss comes my way. The turbulent night comes to an end and morning has come once more. Nobody knows where our future will lead, but it all starts with this bright morning. Aw, so sweet. I think I like that CG more than the other one. MP looks really cool. Was a really beautiful song like almost as if it should be the song for when one of them die or something it's like looking back on memories from it i don't know it was still a really pretty song though <laughs> good for a happy ending too what i was going to say was mp looks really cool looking in the other cg but i don't know it's gonna it's gonna be hard i want to i want to screenshot both of them and put them with with words and see what 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 frames better with um, my text and we'll just go go from there. Anyways, so that is the end of MP's root. So we're going to going into the happy ending now. So stay tuned for that. I want to try to get that recorded so I could just get it out there and type MP's complete root so we can start on the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed though. If you did, drop a like down below and or subscribe for the remaining roots and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.